J. Robert Oppenheimer was an eminent American physicist and one of the key figures in the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. He is often credited as the father of the atomic bomb due to his leadership in the Manhattan Project, the top secret research program that successfully created the world's first nuclear weapons. Beyond his scientific contributions, Oppenheimer's life and career were marked by complexities and controversies, making him an enigmatic and multifaceted figure in history. But first, smack the devil out of the subscribe button so you will never miss out on another historical adventure. But now back to business. Julius Robert Oppenheimer was born on April 22, 1904, in New York City. He grew up in a family that valued education and culture. His father, Julius Oppenheimer, was a German immigrant who became a wealthy textile importer, while his mother, Ella Friedman, came from a successful New York family. Oppenheimer's academic talents were evident from a young age, and he received a prestigious education at Harvard University and later at the University of Cambridge. Oppenheimer's scientific career flourished in the 1920s and 1930s, during which he made significant contributions to theoretical physics. His early work focused on quantum mechanics and the study of positrons, and he made a name for himself as a brilliant theoretical physicist. Oppenheimer's knowledge and intellect quickly garnered him respect within the scientific community. As World War II loomed, concerns about the development of nuclear weapons arose, leading to the establishment of the Manhattan Project in 1942. Oppenheimer was appointed as the scientific director, given his reputation and expertise. Under his leadership, the project brought together some of the world's brightest minds, including Nobel laureates and other prominent scientists. The research and development efforts culminated in the successful detonation of the first atomic bomb on July 16, 1945, at the Trinity Test Site in New Mexico. While Oppenheimer's contributions to the war effort were undeniable, the aftermath of the atomic bomb's use raised ethical and moral dilemmas. The bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945 resulted in the loss of countless civilian lives and ushered in the era of nuclear weapons. Oppenheimer, who once saw the project as necessary to end the war, began to question the consequences of the bomb's use. His vocal opposition to the development of the hydrogen bomb further strained his relationship with the US government and the military establishment. In the post-war years, as the US government intensified its anti-communist efforts during the McCarthy era, Oppenheimer faced scrutiny due to his past associations with leftist and communist organizations. In 1954, his security clearance was revoked amid suspicions of disloyalty and his opposition to the hydrogen bomb. The loss of security clearance dealt a severe blow to his career and reputation, although it was eventually partially restored. Despite the controversies and hardships he faced, Oppenheimer's scientific achievements were recognized and he remained influential in academia. He became the director of the Institute for Advanced Study at Princeton and continued to contribute to theoretical physics. Oppenheimer's legacy is a testament to the dual nature of scientific progress, the potential for both groundbreaking advancements and devastating consequences. J. Robert Oppenheimer's life and work epitomized the complexities of the human experience. As the father of the atomic bomb, his scientific brilliance played a pivotal role in shaping the course of history. However, the ethical dilemmas surrounding the use of nuclear weapons and his later opposition to the hydrogen bomb raised profound questions about the consequences of scientific advancements. Oppenheimer's journey highlights the need for responsible and ethical decision-making in the pursuit of scientific progress, and his legacy continues to serve as a reminder of the moral implications of scientific discoveries. Thanks for watching.